Thank you so much, Professor Munir Alam sir. Indeed, it was a depth presentation on Central Asia developments and its impact on Indo-Iran relations. Well, ladies and gentlemen, now I would like to invite our next speaker, Professor Baljit Singh. Professor Baljit Singh is the director of Nehruvian Studies Center, Department of Political Science, University of Jammu. Professor Baljit Singh. Sorry, sorry, I confess all the knowledge people who speak to their time to answer. Okay, sir. Professor uh, Dr. S. S. Gloria, Chief Guest of, uh, for this uh, seminar, and other dignitaries sitting on the dais, dear students, ladies and gentlemen. The theme of my presentation is Indo Nepal, uh, sorry, Indo Iran relations in the contemporary times, trends and challenges. So, my friends, when we look at bilateral relation of a country, for example, when we look at the bilateral relation of India with any other country, they are the micro part of the foreign policy of a country. So when we look at India's foreign policy since independence, the Arab world or the West Asia has been the main most important priority as far as India's foreign policy is concerned. And in that context, when we unfold India's foreign policy, India's policy toward West Asia has been remained a very critical component of India's foreign policy. And when we unfold India's policy toward West Asia, Iran has been figured prominently in India's foreign policy since India's emergence on the world map as an independent country. Why Iran has emerged prominently during the Cold War? Again, I would divide India's relation with Iran in two parts, the Cold War and the post-Cold War. My friends, when we look at India's relation with Iran during the Cold War period, the two important factors there. One of the most important factors is that as far as the India's foreign policy is concerned and Indo-Iran relation as a micro part of India's foreign policy is concerned, they are always shaped by the nature of society. As uh, you know in India, India has a heterogeneous and multicultural society and India is having a Muslim as a substantive minority at home. So foreign policy is not formulated in abstraction. The foreign policy is formulated in a context, in a domestic context, and domestic context is provided by the society and heterogeneous nature of Indian society. And Muslim being a substantive minority in India has shaped India's policy towards the West Asia and thereby India's relation with Iran. So that has been made one of the most important factors. The second factor has been has been remained very critical, that India's energy requirement. I know that post-colonial India has been aspiring to, to emerge as a, as a developing country and there, thereby, as a, thereafter as a developed country. So India's energy requirement has been remained a major concern as far as India's policy toward West Asia is concerned. And Iran being a major supplier or source of energy has always been the main priority for India. So apart from the civilization connection which India has with Iran, the next important factor is the economic factor and within the economic factor it is the energy requirement of India that, that shaped India's foreign policy or India's relation during the Cold War period. But some of the factors, India, though Iran was very important for India, but India could not develop a very substantive relationship with Iran during the Cold War. And one of the factors has been remained the United States of America. I hope you are all familiar that uh, for a couple of decades, uh, Iran remained under the leadership of Shah of Iran and Shah of Iran. Iran under the leadership of Shah of Iran was having more proximity with the United States of America. And India, and you know that India, uh, India pursued the policy of non-alignment and thereby kept equidistance from the United States of America and Soviet Union at least till 1971. And India was not having good relationship with the United States of America, so India could not develop relations with Iran beyond a point. 
But anyhow, in 1979, when the revolution, Islamic revolution took place in Iran, that changed the context. And India, though India is a secular country, but India appreciated the Islamic revolution in Iran because it changed the context. The new leadership which emerged, which emerged at the helm of the field was not pro-United States of America. In Iran, was not pro-United States of America. So now so coming to the contemporary scenario, scenario, when you look at the post-Cold post War period, the post-Cold War period is a new context. The post-Cold War period is accompanied by the by the by the climate the by the, by, by the major changes in the international scenario. For example, the demise of Soviet Union changed the international power structure from bipolar to a hegemonic world. In a hegemonic world, the United States of America emerged the hegemon. And when you look at India's foreign policy in the post-Cold War period, India has also tried to adjust to the new situation, new situation at home and new situation at the global level. A new situation at home, I hope you are familiar that India has been, uh, India was in the process of transition. Transition in the economic domain and transition in the political domain. Transition in the economic domain from mixed economy to neoliberal economy and transition in the political domain from one party dominant system to the multi party system. And in addition to it, one of the most important objectives of India's foreign policy in the post Cold War period was to diversify its foreign policy and to cultivate the area which India left during the Cold War period. And when you look at India's West Asia policy in the post-Cold War period, India has also tried to diversify its West Asian policy. And in the West Asian policy, the Israel figured prominent. During the Cold War period, the Israel did not figure prominently. Israel was not, India did not have the relation with Israel during the Cold War period because Israel was the pro United States of America and the anti-Arab and India's policy towards West Asia was pro-Arab and India was not having any any relation with Israel. But now in the post-Cold War period, the Israel is important state. And because of that change, it is being interpreted that in post-Cold War period, India has become more close to Israel and India is not uh, considerate about the Arab world and the Arab cause, but the, the status position of India is, the status position in the position of Indian states, that we are still concerned about the Arab world, but the our national interest demand to cultivate Israel. If we are cultivating Israel, it doesn't mean that we are cultivating Israel at the cost of the Arab world. Arab world is still dear to us, still we are, we are for, the, uh, for the Palestinian cause. And now, if you look at uh, India's relation with Iran in the contemporary scenario, again Iran is important for India because of variety of reasons and one of the most important reasons is the civilization connection which India has with Iran. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. The, the, the second important reason is the energy security. When you look at energy security, energy security was not that important during the Cold War period, but it is certainly more important in the post-Cold War period. Why it is more important in the post-Cold War period? Because India is a emerging player. India is an emerging economy. If you look at the growth rate of Indian economy since last 20 years, India has just registered approximately 6.5% annual growth rate. Average annual growth rate during the last 20 years. And in order to sustain that growth rate, India needs energy. And when you look at the India's energy basket, India is meeting 53% of energy requirement from the coal, 31% from the oil, 9% from the natural gas, and 6% from the hydro source, and 1% from the nuclear energy. So when you look at Iran, Iran is important for India from the perspective of energy security as far as India's oil requirement is are concerned. And India is importing 10 to 12% of India's oil requirement from Iran. And thereby Iran is very important for India. It is not that Iran is important for India, India is also important for Iran. Because India is a market, Iran is a source. I hope you are familiar uh, regarding the famous project, the India, Pakistan, Iran, Pakistan, India gas pipeline. Unfortunately, that, had, that could not become reality as of now. 
because there are many problems associated with that problem and one of the major problem is the Pakistan. India, if that project will become there, India is worried about two things as far as that project is concerned. One is the security of the pipeline because pipeline will start from Iran and it will reach India via Pakistan and it will pass through the areas of Pakistan which are the problematic areas. And as you know that India is not having good relation with Pakistan, so India is very much worried about the security of the pipeline, even if the pipeline will become reality, whether the supply line will continue or not, whether it will be secure or not. And second concern is the transit fees, the Pakistan is asking for it in related transit fees. And that is another concern of India. India is also, because when you do business with another, any other country, India is also doing the cost benefit analysis. Whether the, whether the supply of oil through the post gas pipeline will be economical or not. And because of these reasons, of course, when we read the mainstream literature on the, India's relation with Iran or India's foreign policy, the same argument is given that India is not, uh, India has not been able to make that project reality because of, because of the United States of America. My friend, it is not the United States.